Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instruction on completing the task at hand. Visit my YouTube channel and watch my disclaimer video. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find the information you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to pull the driver's seat from this S70. I believe it's a 1998 model. Should be the same for all of the S70s, except for the fact that the airbag and the side of the seat is different on the 99 and 2000s. So you got to make sure that you disconnect the battery before you unplug the seat, or you'll trigger the SRS light. These are the tools you need to get this seat out of the S70: 14 millimeter socket to pull the mounting bolts, 10 millimeter socket to remove the battery. T50 uh, torque socket to get the seat belt off of the base of the seat, 3 8 ratchet, and a flat tip screwdriver. Now if you're pulling the seat all the way out, I recommend that you move the seat all the way back, pull the front two bolts, push the seat all the way forward, and then disconnect the battery. So let's start from there. First thing you need to do is remove the front mounting bolt covers. They kind of slide forward to come out, but they're a little hard. Sometimes I just pop them out, but you can get a screwdriver in there and prime, prime forward until you get them loose and take them off. So now you got the front two bolts, remove those. They should be 14 millimeter. Reach under there and unplug all of the electrical wires that will stop you from removing the seat. After you get those front two bolts removed, move the seat up and forward. That way you can get the hardware in the back. And then uh, if you got a power seat like this one, you pull this up, pop it back, and then this comes loose. Okay, now that it's unplugged, you got it undone and hooked from the back. Now you got to find the clip that is normally there. And put it on this airbag trigger on the 98 models. The 99 to 2000 models don't have this manual airbag trigger. So it fell off. It's sitting back there. You go ahead and install this trigger so that you don't accidentally trip the airbag. Next thing you do is remove the seat belt from the side of the seat at the base. I believe that's a T50. And there it is there. So get your T50 bit and take that bolt out so that you release your seat belt from the side of the seat. Next, you want to remove the covers that uh, had the bolts on these two. On this outer side, you pull that in and then pull it back and out. And on this side, you just work it straight back and out and you can see the clip on it. So now you can access the bolts to get the seat the rest of the way. Next, you want to come uh, under the seat, remove that bolt right there on the outer side of it and then to remove the bolt down in that track right there on the back they're both 14 millimeter and then you should be able to lift the seat out after you get those two bolts out okay now that you got your seat belt loose and both of your bolts loose look under the seat verify that you've disconnected all your wires and then the seat should just lift straight up and out so that's all there is to it to getting the seat out. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.